Why do some businesses thrive during economic downturns while others crumble? The secret often lies in understanding a fundamental truth, that is, not all costs are created equal. Running a business involves juggling numerous expenses, including rent, utilities, raw materials, and labor. Understanding how these costs behave is crucial for making informed financial decisions, setting prices, and planning for growth. At the heart of cost management lies a simple but powerful concept, the classification of costs into fixed costs, variable costs, and total costs. Let's discuss each of them in detail. Fixed costs, the constant companions. Fixed costs are expenses that remain unchanged regardless of how much your business produces or sells. Think of them as the baseline expenses you'll face whether you serve one customer or a thousand customers in a given period. Characteristics of fixed costs Fixed costs share several important traits. They remain constant over a specific time period, typically measured monthly, quarterly, or annually. Regardless of business activity levels, these expenses must be paid, making them predictable but also unavoidable in the short term. Common examples of fixed costs Rent or mortgage payments represent perhaps the most obvious fixed costs. Whether your restaurant serves 50 meals or 500 meals per day, the monthly rent remains the same. Insurance premiums follow a similar pattern, providing coverage regardless of production levels. Employee salaries for permanent staff constitute another significant fixed cost category. Equipment depreciation also falls into this category as machinery loses value over time, independent of usage intensity. Other typical fixed costs include business licenses, professional memberships, basic utility connections, loan payments, and software subscriptions with flat monthly fees. The strategic importance of fixed costs. Understanding fixed costs is essential for several reasons. They form the foundation of your break-even analysis helping you determine the minimum sales volume needed to cover all expenses. Fixed costs also create what economists call operating leverage. Once you cover these baseline expenses, additional sales contribute more directly to profit. However, high fixed costs can also create risk. During slow periods, these expenses continue regardless of revenue, potentially straining cash flow. This is why many businesses try to convert fixed costs to variable costs when possible, such as using commission-based pay structures or renting equipment instead of purchasing. Now come to variable costs, the fluctuating followers. Variable costs change in direct proportion to your business activity level. As production increases, variable costs rise. When business slows down, these costs decrease accordingly. Understanding Variable Cost Behavior The defining characteristic of variable costs is their direct relationship with output. If you double your production, your variable costs should roughly double as well. This proportional relationship makes variable costs more controllable than fixed costs, but also less predictable. Common Examples of Variable Costs Raw materials represent the most straightforward variable cost. A bakery's flour costs increase with every additional loaf of bread produced. Similarly, a manufacturing company's steel costs rise with each additional product manufactured. Also, hourly labor costs often behave as variable expenses. Shipping and packaging costs increase with each item sold, etc. Managing variable costs Variable costs offer more management flexibility than fixed costs. You can negotiate volume discounts with suppliers, find more efficient production methods, or adjust labor scheduling based on demand. However, cutting variable costs too aggressively can harm product quality or customer service. The key is finding the right balance between cost control and value delivery. Sometimes, investing in higher quality variable inputs can actually reduce total costs by improving efficiency or reducing waste. If you find the video helpful, please like it, as that will be helpful for my channel.
Total cost. The complete picture. Total cost represents the sum of all fixed and variable costs incurred by a business during a specific period. This comprehensive measure provides the complete cost picture necessary for pricing decisions, profitability analysis, and strategic planning. The total cost formula. The relationship between these cost components follows a simple formula. Total cost equals to fixed costs plus variable costs. This straightforward equation becomes more nuanced when you consider how it behaves at different production levels. While fixed costs remain constant, variable costs change with output, causing total costs to rise as production increases. Total cost behavior patterns. At zero production, total cost equals fixed cost since no variable costs are incurred. As production begins, total cost increases at a rate determined by variable cost per unit. The total cost curve typically shows a gradual upward slope that may steepen if variable costs increase at higher production levels due to inefficiencies or capacity constraints. Per unit cost analysis. Dividing total cost by the number of units produced yields average total cost, a crucial metric for pricing decisions. As production volume increases, Fixed costs spread across more units, potentially reducing average total cost. However, if variable costs per unit remain constant, the average total cost curve will eventually flatten as volume grows. Practical Applications in Business Decision-Making Understanding cost behavior helps businesses make better decisions across multiple areas. Pricing strategies must account for both fixed and variable costs while ensuring adequate profit margins. Break-even analysis relies on distinguishing between these cost types to determine minimum sales requirements. Make-or-buy decisions also depend on cost understanding. Comparing the variable costs of internal production against external supplier prices, while considering the fixed cost implications of maintaining in-house capabilities, helps optimize resource allocation. The journey toward effective cost management begins with understanding these fundamental concepts, but success comes from applying this knowledge consistently in daily business operations and strategic planning. Master your costs and you master your business destiny. If you want to read it or download the PDF, go through the link in the description. Please support my work by buying me a coffee. Don't forget to subscribe to Education Leaves.